At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you could refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News 46 is also brought to you by the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. When it comes to sensitive matters like bankruptcy, take a breath of fresh air by calling an experienced and compassionate attorney at the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump, 775-727-4747. News is also brought to you by Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. When you need the best dermatology care in Pahrump, call Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer, 775-727-9800. News is also brought to you by the St. Therese Mission, a future venue for cultural and environmental events near Pahrump. Get involved. Visit us at stTherezemission.com or call 702-507-4172. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, an accident causes a widespread power outage. A medical problem may be the reason for a single vehicle collision. And voters prepare to cast their ballots. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Zach Fuentes and Monique Murphy. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, June 11, 2012. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Murphy for News 46. The town of Pahrump was in the dark for a short time following a single vehicle accident at Area 51 Fireworks on, three, on Highway 372 Saturday night. Yeah, we got dispatched for a brush fire um, at Highway 372 next to Area 51 Fireworks. And upon arrival, found an uh, extinguished brush fire running along the fence line. Um, but the investigation, uh, Chief Lewis and Valley Electric found that a vehicle struck um, a power line connected, I believe, from the po pole to Area 51 fireworks. And uh, then Valley Electric was on scene and secured the power. So. And the fence line itself was also hot? Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, would, I, believe this, uh, seems, uh, I believe so, but I don't know. Nobody was injured in this? No, nobody was injured. Fire was uh, extinguished upon our arrival. We did... Uh, um, cool it down in some spots just for precaution due to the winds that night. There were pretty high winds coming from the north, so we just wanted to uh, make sure it was extinguished. This uh, blew a transformer or no? I don't know, but I know the power was out all the way to the main fire station, all the way past Home Depot, so it, it wiped out the whole area up here. So. And they were able to bypass, Valley Electric was able to bypass because it was turned on pretty quickly, like maybe 20 minutes after. Valley Electric responded uh, really quickly to the, the location on Area 51, so they secured the power, they handled everything great, and uh, so the power, I believe, was uh, um, connected pretty quickly on that. People were only lost the power for maybe a few seconds. Do you know why the person struck that guy wire? I don't know, and then the vehicle was not there. I believe the vehicle drove off. Oh, it did? So, yeah, so I don't know. So there was no hazard to Area 51 at all um, or any uh, threat? No, nope, there was no threat. There's no uh, hazard to the area. It was um, actually running across their property line. It was extinguished. Um, so no, it was everything was worked out great. Nye County Sheriff's deputies had to do traffic control in the middle of the intersection, especially at 372 and 160. 
Yeah, that's the. I believe the traffic light was out, so they had to do that, and then uh, they had to do a little traffic control. I believe on 372 for our apparatus getting into Area 51. Who else did we have arrive on scene as far as apparatus? We had uh, Engine Two, Brush Two, uh, Chief Lewis, and Car One. We had um, Medic Five, and I believe ten or two. And thanks to Valley Electric Association, the power was only out for approximately 22 minutes. And also, a single vehicle accident occurred last night on Flamingo Street, located on the west of town. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to a single vehicle accident last night, approximately 6.30 p.m., off of Corbin and Flamingo Streets. Apparently, the driver of this minivan reportedly drove through the desert, then turned around and hit the fence on this residential street. The car also hit a power pole. Valley Electric was called on scene to check out the pole. It appears that the woman was possibly having some medical issue when the accident occurred. She was checked out by Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue on scene and refused to be transported. Her family members arrived on scene to help out the driver and only occupant as well as a dog that she apparently had in the car with her fence and the vehicle sustained moderate damage in this accident. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Butch Harper recruited a candidate to help him collect stray carts around town this morning and return them to their rightful owners. Well, Butch Harper was at it again collecting carts with candidate Frank Carbone, who is running for Nye County Commissioner, and his friend Richard. We're going to speak to all of them about this morning's cart collection. It went pretty good today. All of them aren't picked up. There was about 80 picked up today. Uh -huh. And uh, when I called Frank up last night, it was just a, I had it in my, a thought in my mind to get this done. He jumped on it right away, just like he did uh, Christmas when I want to support military families. The guy was there. And uh, Frank's a candidate uh, for commissioner, right? Yes, I'm candidate for commissioner of District 2. And uh, tomorrow, again, is the last day for anybody who wants to uh, go down and vote, which everybody should use their constitutional right and go do that. And again, we did this for the people, picking them up out there in the streets and on the people's yards and wherever else they're stashed at to help our community look a little bit better and bring things back to the stores that need to have it. It would be nice if the stores would kind of replenish, you know, the, the community with maybe a little check to go to some charity somewhere to go do that it would be really nice if they could do it and uh, you use your own vehicle right yes i did use my own vehicle matter of fact i borrowed one of richard's uh trailers to to go get this done speaking of richard um you have uh the trailer here which is a large size trailer how many times did you fill it up uh today twice twice i'm one of frank's constituents and frank's always giving the community and anytime we can help them out we do so uh, how does this make you guys feel uh, to go out here and do this? Well, I know it looks better than my house and my property, but oh. we got to make it look better because if you get tourists or you want people to come and start a business, if they see all this garbage laying around, it's sort of uh, going to sway their minds to not even come here. Well, we heard a lot of people talk once before in a couple of town board meetings that our town looks like heck with all this garbage laying around. So here we are trying to pick up some of that garbage. Actually doing something about it. Absolutely. It's not a big deal to donate a little bit of time to beautify the community. What would you recommend for people taking these carts, dropping off these carts in various areas around town, or people who see them doing this? Well, it's kind of hard for some of these people. I mean, some of them are, don't have any transportation, so they're using these carts as their transportation to get their groceries home. But once they get home and they got to come back to the store to go buy more, all you got to do is bring the cart back, fill it up again, take it home again. I mean, just like your car. But uh, we should probably be a little more cautious and make sure these cars get back when you use them, bring them back. And Butch, you're going to continue this uh, cleaning up the carts? Well, hopefully, and maybe we can recruit Deanna herself to come out and pick up some of these carts. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to put her on the spot, but I don't mind putting anybody on the spot if it's a positive perump. I will definitely come and help you pick up carts the next time that you um, pick up carts instead of just filming you picking up carts. But uh, you have to provide the truck and the trailer. But I'll, of course, I'll lend a hand. You people heard it straight from Deanna's mouth. Don't worry, we got the vehicle so we can support. <laughs> not a problem. I'm not afraid of work. <laughs> we can always support everybody that can come out and help. I mean, there's, there's probably more carts than we can probably count. And if people know where they are, 
you know, Butch can give you contact information, get a hold of Butch and let us know where they are. We can uh, start making a list. And if you would like to give Butch Harper a phone call, 751-1257, to donate, help out, or lend a truck or a trailer to pick up these carts or anything else that you might see as an eyesore laying around town to help take care of and beautify our town. This is Deanne O'Donnell from Ace Forty Six. Wow, when you see all those shopping carts together, that really does add up. It really does. Yeah, well, thank you, Butch, for that. We'll be right back after this break. Keep it here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Tomorrow is primary election day. The polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. Early voting numbers show that 2,519 people cast their ballots throughout the county. There are two polling locations here in Pahrump. One is at the Bob Rood Community Center on the corner of Basin and Highway 160. The other is at J.G. John Johnson Elementary School on Jack Rabbit Street off Calvada and Highland. For more information, you can call the Nye County Clerk's Office at 751-7040 or go to their website. The Clark County School District has confirmed more than 400 teachers will receive layoff notices today, and that's down from the 1,015 positions already announced. The school district says that a number went down because of retirements and resignations, and this means class sizes will increase on average by three students. The teachers' union was protesting with teachers in front of CCSD's central office off West Sahara this morning. And what a busy weekend for sports. Here's Nathan Hollenbach to give you a rundown. Miami took the best of seven Eastern Conference Championship Series four games to three to reach the NBA Finals, which will start on Tuesday in Oklahoma City. The Thunder beat the San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference Final. But let's rewind back to the Miami of Boston Game 7. The anticipation and anxiety throughout this game couldn't be expressed any further. It was just too close. Going back to Game 6, LeBron James had 45 points stunning the audience. Was this expected for Game 7? Well, yes indeed it was. And LeBron James did it again. Whether it was blocking Rajon Rondo from behind at layup distance, hitting a beyond the th arc three-pointer at the shot clock buzzer, or even taking it in one on five for a vicious slam to the hoop. But it was more than James that shined that night. Chris Bosh coming back from an injury was hitting nonstop threes and showing that he was a big factor to this game. Also, the partner in crime of James, Dwayne Wade, also had an unbelievable night. Dwayne Wade had 23 points and six assists. Chris Bosch contributed with 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 three-pointers. While LeBron James wasn't absent from his on-point game with 31 points, 2 assists, and 12 rebounds. The game ended with a 101-88 victory while Miami Heat is getting ready for the finals against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And also that day, may I mention the Pacquiao fight. This fight may have caused some controversy with that the fight was fair. Manny Pacquiao lost his welterweight title in a controversial split decision to Timothy Bradley on Saturday in Las Vegas, not too far from us. Two of the three judges gave the fight to Bradley. It was Pacquiao's first loss in fight in seven years, and booze filled the MGM Grand Garden Arena when the result was announced. People such as viewers and fans are, well, demanding a rematch. Do you think it will happen? And also at Prompt Valley Speedway this weekend, here are your first place winners. In first place for the Mod Minis, John Birch. For the Coops, Justin Berger. Mini Stocks, Sue Smothersman. And for the Super Stocks, Josh Stringer. For the Dwarfs, Cecilia Dilly. For the Pro Stocks, Eric Schinberger. For the Bombers, Billy Grasser. And last but not least, IMCA's Kyle Renbarger. And also before I end tonight's weekly update, the U.S. Open will start on Thursday, June 14th to Friday, June 15th, starting at 5. Make sure you tune in tonight to the NHL matchup for the Western Conference Finals with the Kings and Devils. And well, that's going to do it for this edition of your Weekend Sports. I'm Nathan Hollenbeck, and I'll see you guys next Monday. All right, good night. Nate, thank you. And we're going to have much more after this break, so please keep it here.